Hey everyone! Time for another game. I'm playing Casule, an international master from the great, um, from the United Kingdom. Right, we're gonna have a Sheshnikov here. This, uh, this move order transposes to it most of the time. I like to play this boring line. I've had good results with it. Oh, what am I doing? Bishop e2 is my move. I always instinctively want to put it on d3. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Alright, let me think. Rook f to d1. I'll go b3. Just looking for tricks here, but... Because I, I feel like I might have a trick. Oh, um, maybe not. All right, let's go b3. That's a total waste of time in a blitz game, by the way. I usually play. Hold on a second. <clears throat> I usually I do this here. I'm always looking for out for c5 tricks, but I I couldn't make it work. Definitely a waste. I, I spent too much time. Can I take on f4 or is that insane? <clears throat> it's interesting. Because I have a queen d5 check after, but I'm like really scared that my queen's going to get trapped. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go rook up d1. <laughs> uh, so that in the, I might do a next move if he like plays something weird like h6. I don't know why he would play h6. Um, but now his d pawn's in, under attack, so my queen won't get trapped. But he won't allow knight f4. He'll play like bishop e6 or something. Uh, and I have to look out for c4, uh, c5 tricks now, because my rook is on his queen, so there could be like some, some way that it works. Like c5 pawn takes, queen moves, but I, I don't see how to exactly make it work. Usually h, um, I can't move my knight anywhere. I'm just gonna go here. It's usually a useful move. Someday a3. I don't know. Queen e2 maybe. Queen e2 with the idea of c5. Where does he put his queen? It's hard. I'm just going to do this. He'll move his queen somewhere probably to stop c5. Well, he doesn't. Wow, that's very brave. Um, I'm just going to do c5. Now I have a lot of pressure in his position. Because, wow, because I have knight takes f4. F knight takes b4, which is the best. Probably knight takes b4. Well, you know, the more I look at it, the position's not so amazing. It's unfortunate. Um, I think knight takes b4 followed by bishop g4. I think, I think, I think. Alright, whatever. Oh, actually, I can bring my knight back to d5 if I really want. Or knight to d3 is interesting. Targeting the pawns. He might sack his queen here. It often makes some sense in this type of position. I think I've, I've had some tough games where people have sacked their queen when I've played this type of trick. Knight f4 made his bishop good, which I didn't like. I would take his bishop, and I would get a nice light squared bishop, though. So, I don't know. Maybe that was better. Just try to maneuver the bishop to c4. But instead, I'm taking the B pawn. He will probably go like something like Queen C8, and then I have to think. To think long and hard. What am I going to do? Am I going to take or keep the knight? Um. Even Queen A6. Oh no, he has Rook B6. Then I'm probably going to take it. All right. Now, do we play knight to d3? Or knight to, knight to c6 is not doing anything, right? Well, it almost wins a pawn, actually. I'm going to go knight c6. Because the e pawn and the a pawn, if queen c7, rook c1. And his queen's in a pickle. Uh, 
I'm down on time, but I, I think I have a good position. I think soon he's going to realize he's going to be down a pawn, and he's going to start to play for compensation. The good news is his bishop on g5 is not, not amazing, to say the least. All right, I'm going to take it. Probably rook c1, but let's let's think. Or maybe bishop g4 first. Or bishop g4 first, I think. Well, yeah. I want to I want to secure the. Okay, now he doesn't have the. Oh, I can't go rook c1 because of f3. It's unfortunate. I messed up. I changed my mind. I'll go back. It's pathetic, though. Ah, I really screwed that up. Holy Christ. Uh, how do I deal with my knight? Oh, my God. What a horrible move. Oh, I'll go back. <laughs> he just goes to 8 now. What am I doing? All right, I'm totally botching this up like an idiot. Someday he's going to go h5, and my knight bishop never will have that square again. I'm a huge moron. Oh, it's just rook a8. Well, what can you do? For some reason he's thinking hard about this. Oh, because rook c2? Rook c2 looks okay, but also unnecessary. I don't know, for some reason I don't love it, but it's probably okay. He shouldn't be thinking so hard on it, though. Uh, I can even play rook d2 after... Well, I can't quite if he has f3. He's spending too much time just to get a rook to the 7th, though. If I were him, I'd just go rook a8 and spend less time. But now we have plan b. Win on time. Okay. Uh, I think I have to go here. Oh, I, I could take that someday, by the way. Maybe now. Uh, I'll wait till it's most appropriate. I'm going to start with how... I feel like some tricky ideas are in the midst of happening, but... Oh, come on, bishop h5 is too risky right now. Let's just defend my pieces, whatever. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Well, he's got to trade something, because otherwise I get rook b3. Oh. I just figured this would be annoying for him. This is definitely annoying for him. I'm just taking this bad boy. Ah, uh, it's like pins. So I can, I can take with the rook and the rook c5, or I can... <sighs> so many possibilities. Take this? Ah, whatever. No time. What a random move. <laughs> um, okay, hope this is okay. Uh, it's gonna win up. Oh shit. Uh, ugh, bad, bad news. I'm gonna lose. That's too bad. Bishop c5 coming. Oh my god. Yeah, I... It's really too bad. I was playing actually well. Doesn't happen every day. Oh boy, I lose. Uh, I mean, I could probably resign here. Would be a reasonable choice. That's a real shame. Right, that helps my chances at least.
Gotta get to the corner for stalemate possibilities. Um, well, yeah, I should, I, I mixed things up more than I had to. Real shame. Oh, boy. What happened wrong with this game was... Sorry, like, let's focus on this point. Well, I made some pointless moves, of course, but then I got a winning position. When I, when I had this move, I must be winning. Uh, so a few possibilities. Number one, I could just play it safe, which is, you know, this move, he has to go rook a4. I mean, I could do something like this. Um, I could also, you know, but I played this risky move. The idea was this, h4. And if he moves the bishop, I take this. Uh, queen d6 was an interesting interesting response. Why didn't I take this? Oops. Oh, he has, a, he has a 3. Sorry. Huh. I can take this. And he takes this. And he still has f3. It was... Well, this is still fine for me, actually. Yeah, I could just take his rook. Oh, man! Instead, what I did was, uh, I saw this, but I figured this would be okay for me, but then you realize that I, he's, he's threatening all of my pieces. It's just hard to find, uh, like this move, I lose my rook, too, which is really a nightmare. I'm just losing, right? Yeah. But in this position, I can take on c4. In this position, I could just do anything. Like, rook d5 is very solid. Man, you know, what happened was I was I had too much confidence. I was I should have just played safe moves and just won. I know I would have won if I just did that. I complicated things for no reason when I had a great position. Alright, anyway. I lose. <laughs> it's a shame. I was building up a little little winning streak there. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.